There's been actually a total of six attacks um, kind of going back here. Uh, the four countries involved, uh, Japan, Norway, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia were the four victims of these attacks and that have been largely blamed on uh, Iran. Right. And I don't want to call those friends, all of those friends, two are friends and two are frenemies, uh, but they do business uh, with us. You would, in this case, you would call them friends and not friends of Iran. So the United States would think that it'd have to get away with bombing or destroying tankers of those four countries. Get away with it. Now that doesn't seem like something that we're we're itching to do, especially since the president has a long-standing record of let's not destabilize more. All right. So they blow down one of our uh, drones. And what is the president's first response? Listen. Iran made a big mistake. Uh, this drone was in international waters. Clearly, we have it all documented. It's documented scientifically, not just words. And they made a very bad mistake. How okay? will you respond, Mr. President? How will you respond? You'll find out. Are you willing to make a war with You'll find out. You'll find out. I mean, obviously, 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 you know, we're not going to be talking too much about it. You're going to find out. They made a very big mistake. Now, he went on in that press conference to talk about how he has a feeling. I have a gut feeling, and I could be wrong, but usually I'm right. Usually I'm right. Uh, that they just made a mistake. That this was somebody low level that just uh, made a mistake, made the wrong call, blew this out of the sky, freaked out, and uh, it was just a mistake. Now, we know that's not true because we have them screaming Allah Akbar uh, and the administration of Iran coming out and saying, you know, Allah Akbar, look what we've done to the great Satan. So we know that's not true, but the president was giving them an opportunity to say, hey, mistake. Now, is that what a warmonger does? Is that what a warmonger does? So to believe that Donald Trump is doing this because he wants war, what you have to believe is that our president is absolutely out of his mind and a warmonger and just wants death. Or if you look at his record, you'd say, okay, he's not. But the people around him are out of their mind and they just want death. They want war at any cost. And they're so stupid, they think they can attack the assets of four allies and get away with it. Or there's another option. The United States is just a Jewish pawn. Well, that sounds a, a little like Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders and everybody else, doesn't it? That's a, probably a really easy one if you believe in socialism. Yes, it's a Jewish conspiracy. But why would the president come out and say it's a mistake? Why would the president come out and order a strike and then come back and say, nope, cancel it? I think the most easy thing to uh, believe here is that the president means what he says when he doesn't want to destabilize the Middle East. And this is a way of sending a very, very strong message without actually lobbing a single missile. Isn't this what we should be hoping for? Could this be kind of dramatic strategy here? That the president is, is coming out and saying, you know what, I got the guys at the Pentagon and uh, they want to do something and I want to do something. Nope, 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 nope. Last second, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Don't make me do this. I'm, I'm in your corner because I think you made a mistake. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. This is a president who is signaling to our enemies, I got a twitchy eye. But he's also at the same time signaling to you he's not crazy and out of control and has some sort of Iranian bloodlust. <laughs>